um, I'm really bad at doing it. <laughs> okay, so it's been a couple of days since I posted my last vlog which I recorded and um, let me tell you I did get out of my procrastination zone but I am procrastinating even more about doing art stuff and uh, I, in the last vlog I think I talked about this but like in my last vlog if you have seen that vlog if you're not seeing that vlog go back and watch that vlog uh, it's not part one or part two but then it's again if you if you you will not know anything I'm talking about uh, so in the last vlog I was drawing that coffee cup something like that and I've only completed the mocha bottle now every I only do four I thought I, I know you got I was discussing that I was gonna draw six but then I drew them a lot larger than I thought I would so um, I only drew four which is the mocha pot the French press V60 and no this is the V60 this is the Clemex Chemex whatever it is I don't know how to pronounce that um, so yeah, I've only done the mocha bottle now, which I didn't wash. I love it. You know what? One of my favorite things to do with gouache is black and white studies because I don't know why, I don't know how to tell you this, but when I do, like when I use black in watercolors, it's like it does have a greenish kind of um, undertone to it and I just hate it. So um, that is why I mostly don't use black. I use paints gray because it kind of have a bluish indigoish undertone to it and the gouache that i'm currently using the black in it also kind of wait a minute what the <laughs> okay where what was i saying um yeah so the gouache that i'm using currently also like in the black Wash, have a blue undertone to it so whenever I add like a white to it I had like a grayish like kind of the color I like kind of undertone so that is why you know I did the mocha pot in um, gouache now I have the French press which is like a it does have a glass type of texture and I've never did glass in like a still life I never did it even when I like I was having fine art as my subject in high school I in 12th if you will uh, <laughs> I did not any like I did not practice class because I genuinely get scared how to do the reflection and stuff so it's gonna be a very um, I don't know hard process for me because I don't know how to draw reflections at all um, and or to make things even more harder for me uh, the um, the reference for the uh, French press that I took is in a green glass like a the glass has a green tint to it so not only do I have to do the reflection of glass but I have to do it in green color which is if you know if you like if you're an artist if you know that green color is the hardest to work with because apparently if I'll mix a green darker tone it's gonna be so different from the light tone like it's, it's it will look like I'm not even using the same color does that make any sense I don't know why I'm talking like this okay anyways right now I was just ignoring my paintings and I started to I don't love the love hypothesis the love theoretically I don't know why I'm confusing and I love this book so much I kind of like you know after the last vlog I said I'm gonna start love theoretically and uh, I didn't for a couple of days but then I started it you know I kind of like okay Mario you need to just go ahead and read it so I did I I just hit myself for my baby <laughs> so I did started it I completed it in I don't know like two days because apparently Ramadan is also going on so um, I did not get so much time to read I thought I would get so much time to read but then I did not and uh, now I'm just annotating and you know what just because I I was a science student it's so interesting to watch and like you know um, see physicists and like in a love story because um, they are using this um, like physics kind of stuff and uh, like you know um, the terms of physics and chemistry in like daily life which is like just so interesting which is also why I love the ch love checking mate because they were using um, 
the rules of chess or like the things of chess in like in terms of real life when they're talking about real life and that is why i loved it so much so, so this is this has been sitting on my table for the past two days but i got a new sketchbook because just because i needed something to like practice on i don't know why it's like this it's like it doesn't have any um, I don't know how to say this. The string that keeps like spiral bound a lot stable. I do have other spiral bound books, uh, sketchbooks, but um, this one is quite different. However, because the pa the other, I wait. Let me just take those down for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this one is finished. I need to delete this right now. Please don't fall on me. Okay. Um. So as I was saying, this, these two sketchbooks that I have, this one is uh, quite similar to this one, but this is a hundred percent cotton sketchbook. And as I read, I don't like. I don't want to waste these sketchbooks just to practice and stuff. So I got this sketchbook. This question sketchbook is quite similar to this one in which I did the, uh, if you follow me on my Instagram, I did a Valentine's Day sketchbook spread. So this is the one I did that in. It's not 100%, it's like 20% cotton sketchbook, which is, wait, it's not. Oh, why, am I why am I in the dark again? Okay. <laughs> so uh, this is like a 25% cotton See, this is the kind, this is the brand I use sketchbooks from. I just love this brand. And they're like quite affordable too. So that is what I want. So what I, what was I thinking of doing like the first spread or like the first practice is that I talked about this on my Instagram that I want to do. Um, I just took out the stickers because I just don't like it on my sketchbooks. Um, so yeah, so if I, I have been talking about this on my Instagram that I, I, I love F1 and I am a great fan of F1 and if you know, I do get every time like you know you are a girl oh my god you must be a Ferrari fan yes I'm a, I am a Ferrari fan I don't care about your opinion and um, sometimes you know people just assume what your favorite driver is that you don't know any rules of F1 why am I getting into this topic okay anyways I am an F1 fan I love F1 so uh, I thought why not you know make a sketchbook spread out of it like uh, about drivers or like tracks and uh, I talked about this on my Instagram and I talked about this to a couple of my friends who also watch F1 and um, I came up with this like you know because Carlos is, is my favorite driver everyone just assumes that Charles de Krek is your favorite driver I did, like he is my favorite but he's not about Carlos since so um, Ka so if if you also watch F1 last year only one like driver of any other team other than Red Bull won which is Carlos Sainz from Ferrari in Singaporean Grand Prix so what was I thinking because some of my friends also are like very much like if they like other drivers but they're like we just want a Carlos in sketchbook spread so the first spread I'm gonna do end of this end of my rant is Carlos Sainz and like I want to do it in the sense that I include the Singaporean Grand Prix into it also but then I because it's not like a, I don't know how to say this, uh, Melbourne's uh, Grand Prix, the Australian Australian Grand Prix. It's like it has some space in between it. But if you wa if you, I'll attach the picture here. You know what I mean. It's like not a lot of gaps. So what I was thinking at first before was like seeing the Singaporean Grand Prix was that I can include the Singaporean Grand Prix around the sketchbook and then in middle I can just do like a Carlos Sainz illustration or stuff but then I saw the Singaporean Grand Prix and it's like almost in a rectangular shape like not really but like yeah so I want to I don't know I don't know how to like include that so I need to plan that as well today I don't know what I'm gonna today do today as well lastly what book am I reading right now I'm not reading any book right now I don't know. I just completed this book and then I went into a series of rereading my uh, every five star book. And I believe everyone has that one book that they are like constantly rereading. Wait, something is there and I'm just getting distracted by it. It did not get magnified. <laughs> okay. 
so i believe everyone have that one comfort book which like they if they are like in a reading slump or like they just want to start something new but they're not like so sure that if they like it or not and they read it before everything for me that book is the wall of fairy tale me i've read it a hundred times and i've never got like got bored with it and um, that's just it and uh, other than the wall of fairy tale me i have the right hope which i just love it so much so i'm, I'm currently i'm updating i did i know something but i forgot where i was because i did not put any tabs here so um Let me put that up there. Bah, let we'll do that later. I was just taking out of the tabs and stuff, and uh, I did not fucking do anything tomorrow because um uh, right after I recorded, I went I had a like you know I pretty much saw it coming, but I got into a wave of PMS. So I was like my hormones were like it's so much in control of me yesterday, and. Uh, This is not blood. If you are thinking, I'm drinking that. Okay, most Desi people will know what drink this is because my mom just like no, the girl, you don't need to be drinking coffee right now because um, I'm slightly dehydrated and if I drink coffee, I'll be more dehydrated. Anyways, why is my table such a mess every time? Now I just dropped my table. to change the situation of this and i'm very much in the place so um i i don't know if i was talking about this so one thing i just didn't mention in my last vlog and also in um this vlog i think i mentioned that in my in the vlog that i recently posted when the new year started like a weekend vlog i think i mentioned in that that i recently started writing so one of the main like um how can i say this so one of the main um resolutions for new uh for the new years for like 2024 for me was to uh, write more so i did started to journal things because um i did kind of did that last year and kind of just took some things which i was overthinking of my mind and um, recently i have not been like diary entries or stuff because i just th think that that is very cringe It's just my own perspective. I like if you write a diary entry, I would not think you're cringe. It's just when I do it, I think it's cringe. So um, I recently started to write something. So it's just not like it doesn't have any kind of like a topic. But um, sometimes when I see something or when I like um, read a quote that just you know sparks some attention in my brain, I just write some things about it. So yesterday I was looking at um, the bride. cover and it's like a black and white it's like whole black and white and then there is like the accents of red on it and it kind of reminded me of the theory of the unexpected red why do i think it would be cool why if you are like from an indian culture or like a desi culture you will know what drink this is and if you know please comment down below <laughs> okay so as i was saying um it got it kind of reminded me of the theory of the unexpected red which if you don't know the theory of the unexpected red is kind of like a concept in design and i kind of was got getting into design so i kind of learned about this theory and i think it got popular in january of this year so the theory is that if you have like a bland room or like a bland um how can i say outfit then you just add like a um i don't know how to say this accents of red and in that case that i was like i was just looking at this so it was like a boring cover if it if it would not have like any red accents to it it would be boring to look at this cover obviously not to shame anyone but i'm just stating my point here okay so just for the designer because they are designer and they have their amazing minds they added the red accents in a in a case of like brighter and the author's name and all and it kind of elevated the entire cover and uh, i was looking at i think it was it was the author of fool me twice um she was kind of talking about the 
unexpected bread and she was talking about how when art art imitates life and life imitates art so just like you know there was this trend of finding your yellow kind of person so she was talking about how all of like at any point in time we also had our unexpected red kind of persons who like came into our life and we are like very um, i don't know very in a very dark space or like in a very boring space and we just added so much fun and like i don't know you you can see like you know a kind of splash of color and all in your life and i kind of wrote that about like one of my friends who we were very close like we kind of i would not say we were best friends in like um our last year of school and uh, unexpectedly we both were still in the same town and like we were still like you know most of most of my friends left most of her friends left and kind of in an unexpected situation when in october i got her got in like very dark space in my mind and uh, she kind of like came into my life again and then we became such good of friends now like if but yeah yesterday only i was just sending her voice notes because i was feeling so i don't know how how to say this but yesterday i was on the verge of a breakdown i'm still is i'm on the verge of a breakdown you cannot see it on my face but i deep down i'm like I'm, i can cry right now <laughs> okay so i was just sending her voice notes and then she just because she knew that i was not in the right state of mind she just called me she was like what is going on and i just ran to to her and she just listens and wept I kind of listen to her when she is like going on dark space, dark space of mind, and I kind of wrote that about her because she is kind of the unexpected bread in my life. not even that many but i'm just lucy so i want to discuss with you my uh, sorry um i wrote down some things that i want to discuss with the i this is not a journal i have this journal i have so many journals it's just hard to keep track of where i've written something okay so last night i was just you know thinking about what i need to talk about because i talk rubbish and then i just was like that was a good topic to talk about and then i have no idea till the next vlog that i want to talk about that okay so first thing that i want to talk about is that um i set up my april tpr yeah, like two days ago i wasn't recording for the last two days because first thing my periods were like on my head and it was like you know killing me so i thought i'm not in the mood to record and i don't want to say something controversial so i did not record it second uh, i was not feeling well because of my periods and now i have uh, my april tbr which it let me grab my kindle as well because some of the some of the books are on there so okay so the first book that i want to read i have like around five books on my physical tbr i don't want to like you know take out all the books on my physical tbr and say i'm going to read this in april that's not going to happen Okay, so the first book that I want to read in April is the book that I kind of included in my end of TBR video last year, but I didn't read it. Is Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. I don't know. I saw some clips of this book. Like you know, this book is I think turned into a series or a movie, and I saw some clips of it, and I thought, okay, why not? I will give this book a like a try, and. Um, And this is the kind of book that it's like you know have a big cover so nobody is actually knowing what you are reading instead of this like you know this title conversation with friends mm, so I can take it with me anywhere so and uh, 
this book like i don't know i don't just i kind of have like no idea what this book is about i read the synopsis of this book but i don't really know what this book is about this book that i want to read is like very popular on book talk recently because like some people liking it some people not liking it but the mostly i've seen people liking it is bride by ali hazelwood i still have like this is my second last book that i want to complete before not in love comes it out i think wait it might be in the back ha huh, not in love that is a forbidden secret love or pair all fair in love and signs i love how ali hazel you know i kind of did not like like you know love theory that love hypothesis that much i got so confused okay i kind of was like when i first read love hypothesis i was like yeah it's good but it's not like in my mind every time so i would not give i give five star to books who will like stay in my mind 24 into 7 after i read it so but love hy- like love hypothesis did not did it for me like that it's like for star book for me but then i started to give lady is about another try and i loved the book so i don't know this is like a different kind of like atmosphere than our usual books our usual books like all human this is however is like an omega verse i don't know if it's an omega verse uh vampires and um wolves kind of giving me a uh, twilight vibes and there's a marriage of convenience in that they are like vampires in stem which is very unusual I have never like even heard about something like that, so I'm very interested in this. But it was started. So the next book that I want to read is the second book in the series, which is Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Scor. This book is of the brother in the MMC of the brother in Things We Never Got Over, which was Knox, and this is about Nash. I think was Lena the next girlfriend of Knox? I'm kind of confused. Okay. So this book is about uh this has a police officer in it. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Uh let's see because people say this book is not really that great. I don't know. But they say things we never le- things we left behind is like it's there so that's why I'm looking there. Um things we left behind is like amazing i like because it's an enemy to lovers and everyone is loving that book so i don't know if i like this book i'm just reading it because i want to get to that book and i don't want to miss a book in between so this is the book and the last book that i want to read is i think i included this also in my la- uh, end of tbr video this is happy place by emily henry why because in april funny story is coming out which is i think this is the last book that i have to read of emily henry and i will complete her entire collection then i can actually proceed to funny story so this book is about two ex lovers like they are not so sure, ex they broke up like 6 months ago and they have this kind of college group which meets up every year at this beach at this vacation house and this year the two of them are not together but none of their friends know that they are not together anymore so um they pretend like they both talk to each other and they pretend for this one summer that they are together like they are engaged to each other and uh, they kind of like this has the miscommunication trope and i'm not so sure if i want to read it because i generally hate the miscommunication trope because um i just hate, i just get frustrated why they are not communicating with each other and this is hard cover and well for things the font is very large so it's like easy to read but then it's a hard cover so it's very hard to take it on like take it and read it in bed because if it just hit my face i will have like swelling on my face anyways so the next book the last book i think the last book on my physical dbr is happy place by emily henry i'm really excited to read this because i loved every single emily henry book i read so i'm not really you know scared that i'm going to not like this book but most of people don't like this book so Anyways, let's see the books on my physical uh, Kindle that I want to read. First is I really want to get into this series and like this universe, the Carvel, the what was what is the name of this? Uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, because 
people have said you need to read Caliwell first before getting into Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. So I want to read Caliwell. I think it's Caliwell. What is the name of the other three books in that? Don't really remember. Then I don't know what what um, like you know storyline is about Caliwell. I just don't know anything about it. So it's really nice to go into a book like Seven Exes by Lucy Vine. And this book is about a person. This book is like revolves around this theory where there is this thing that a person has seven exes, and um, when they like at last they meet there. It's very really interesting because um, I have never heard of the story of seven exes, so it's very really interesting that a woman, not exactly because I'm very against dating, but a woman will have seven exes before she, it leads her to have one. And uh, I'm very excited to read this. I might start it tonight or not. Because sometimes this is what happens, you know. I am not reading a book for like months and then I read this and I was just like, interesting, I can start it tonight. <laughs> it's okay if you don't feel the same about it. Been a while since I seen you yesterday. Now that you're away, can't get a break. For goodness sakes, I'm going home. When I'm alone, I can't help thinking, thinking Am I crazy now? Am I going mad? Cause as of lately, I've been missing what we have Now you're right here, but there's a fear you won't come back Now I'm busy overthinking about the moment I finished uh, doing the French press, which is which is looking decent. I wouldn't say it's looking amazing. I also completed the mocha pot. I don't know what is happening with this fish book. I think it's, the binding is not proper. I can say it's hard to paint glass. Uh, it's been, it was like tough thing. So that is why it did not come out as I envision it to be. And, uh, but it was a nice practice. I'm not disappointed that I, look, I'm, I'm happy that I even tried because sometimes I get, I get you know I get so you know scared to even try something that I haven't tried before so I'm I'm glad I tried um so I also want to ask my YouTube like people who follow me on my YouTube uh have what are your ideas that I should post more because I've asked on my Instagram people are saying more like, art related and booked of videos which I'm already doing what will you guys like so you can comment down below what kind of video videos you will like with me from me and and one, one thing else, uh, yesterday I uh, talked about my April TBR. I'm gonna show something. I started reading uh, Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney, and so far I'm liking. I have read a book by Sally Rooney after one and a half years, so I have to get you know uh, used to the writing by Sally Rooney because it's a lot different than I what I'm used to, and I really like it. I love. Like from the starting, from the get-go, I think they meet Melissa and uh, yeah, so I've started reading, uh, so this is my current read well, with five different books. I've also started reading Kalpi on my Kindle because I just want to know which book because I've been so confused with which book by my aunt Zapata is my favorite. Currently, it's The Wall of Eddie Pagani and uh, I also want to finish her whole catalog like every single book of hers but um some of the books i'm not so sure of. yeah so i think i'm gonna end the vlog here thanks so much for joining and just see me talk absolutely rubbish because uh, i love to talk absolutely rubbish and if you have come so far <laughs> you might like tolerate me like if you want to follow me on any of my other social medias they are all linked down below and uh, I'll see you all in the next video very, very soon. Bye.